the guidelines globally suggest that we should do natriuretic peptide testing to differentiate who requires further investigation. At the lower um, natriuretic peptide threshold in the European guidance, you're going to get 95% of people with heart failure will be having a positive test. At the higher NICE threshold of 400, that's around 80%. So you will be missing around one in five cases of heart failure initially at that higher threshold. My takeaway as a, as a GP is that if I see somebody who is breathless or exhausted or ankle swelling, and I do an atriotic peptide test and it's it's close to the threshold, I might consider whether or not that patient is likely to have heart failure and does require a referral. Or if I'm not sure, then there is also the option of observing them and seeing if we test in a few months time, if that has changed the decision at all.